scrappy people tracy reed here today coming at you with a video in my life crafted album using the new sutures twist kits printable collection and it's called going places so today i'm going to be scrapbooking these photos of my youngest just after we have dyed his hair it matches this red stripe in this um, rainbow perfectly so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I actually have printed this so that I cut or that I uh, I have two copies of the same paper and one I flipped horizontally um, so that I have a full rainbow um, I, I kind of messed up a little bit and now I have like these two weird arches in the middle but I don't think that I'm gonna change it. I don't think I'm gonna try and correct it and make it right. I'm just gonna go with it. They're gonna be a little bit separated in my album. I don't think it'll be a big deal. These are six by eight, so I need to trim off an inch on either side. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to arch these photos around the outside edge. And then I wanna take some Citrus Twist letter stamps and add the title right here. That's like as far as I have thought out so far, um, but that is the direction that I'm going, so let's go. So I had the idea that I wanted to keep this fairly simple and let the rainbow sort of stand out and do its own thing, but it even came together more simply than I thought it would, and I actually adore it. You know that I'm not a simple scrapbooker. I love to add, 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 add until I probably added too much and I need to take something off, um, but this this just is so simple and sweet and it really puts the focus where it belongs on the title on the photos and just on what the layout is about plus the way that i ended up journaling on this layout was so cool so i have i actually accidentally i actually printed two copies of the printables for this collection because um, i like to print up a backup copy just in case i mess up when i print and cut the printables. So I have two sets of each of these frames. I'm gonna use three of them and I've rotated the two that are the same color in different directions so that it's not as noticeable that they are the same color. Plus they're on different pages. So it just kind of gives you that visual separation that you need to not go, oh, she used the same thing twice. I know that I'm probably the only person who would look at this page and go, oh, she used the same thing twice. <laughs> but you try to explain that to my, to my brain that that, doesn't really matter because it matters to me. So I've sort of put these photos together and with these frames in a wonky um, orientation just so that I can not have completely straight lines on this page. Everything's going to sort of be arced around the page so I didn't want there to be like straight lines with the frames when everything else was sort of arcing around. So I'm using two different um, embellish art embellishments alphabet that's the word i was looking for alphabet stamp sets for my page and it's going to say you color my world and then when i get to the end of the page i decide that it needs to the title needs to arc around the other side as well so then i add in every day on the other side but that's not until the end of the video we're just going to start with you color my world so like i said there's not a lot of embellishments in this printable collection so i pulled out a bunch of these puffy stickers from my citrus twist stash and even though i don't generally like to use more than one title for my page i thought that this would work because uh, they're two different styles. So the You Color My World is stamped in black uh, ink. And so I'm gonna use Child and Wild, so it's gonna say Wild Child, um, on this side in these puffy sticker cursive letters. And I think that it actually adds to it and doesn't make it confusing. Uh, with two different titles in fact if i had just left it saying you color my world instead of well actually <laughs> never mind it works either way i was gonna say if i just left it saying you color my world it would say you color my world wild child but i it says you color my world every day so then it says you color my world every day wild child and it actually really works together and flows well i think so then there are a bunch of teeny tiny hearts and stars that i'm just gonna splatter all over the uh, rainbow arcs in this pattern paper. Again, I didn't wanna add too much to the paper. I wanted it to speak for itself. So I thought that this was a great way to embellish without distracting from or 
uh, taking away from that beautiful rainbow arc in the background. So I'm just finding colors that match the arcs color by color. Uh, thankfully, Citrus Twist tends to use the same color palettes in different ways in all of their collections. So these old, old puffy stickers from other collections and years ago still match pretty perfectly the colors in this brand new printable collection. So I'm just going through and adding in everything that I find. I have these stickers from, oh goodness, I don't remember what the line is, but it's one of the ones that are in the shop um, that sort of match as well. There's pink and yellow, and I'm just adding in a little bit of butterfly splatter, <laughs> as well as I'm gonna add in all of these black and white stars as well, because I think that they add a really cool touch to the white places in the layout um, and add some more of that like sticker sneeze sort of splatter with all of these puffy stickers, but give me something to decorate the white with and not just the colored portions. Then there's a couple of little words that I'm gonna add in here too, smile, love. These are teeny tiny, so it adds uh, to the style of this layout. I don't have to worry about it, them being too big. And then I add this and one, I think one more sticker with words. It's, I think it's gonna say, yeah, oh, no. Or adding more colors first. <laughs> I needed some red, so there was some red on this page, thankfully. But I do add one more color. Not color. Uh, <laughs> I tried to add this, but I didn't like it. It didn't arc with the arch, and so no, we're not doing that. I add to that, oh my, though. I don't remember what it says. Oh, oh it's going to say, oh my, yes. There it is, right there. Soul Child I really loved, but it was too big. So it's going to go, oh my, yes. We dyed his hair red. It was super cute. It's still super cute because it's still red. Um, very surprisingly cute. It looked a lot better than I thought it would. And so I just really love these photos where he's very happy with his hair and I'm very happy with his hair. And I don't get a lot of pictures of him lately. So I'm happy to have some. Now I've added in my journaling and I'm rearranging some of these black and white stars. You can see the journaling arcs all the way around the rainbow. It's so cute looking, but it does make that top right corner of the spread look really blank and empty. So I'm going to add in the rest of my title using the same stamps. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I am so fussy about these stars. It's, it's hilarious how fussy I was just about the black and white stars. That was all that mattered. But there, I got them perfect. You can see me thinking. All right, let's add in the rest of this title and we will call it good. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and, ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy and Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. There is a link to Citrus Twist Kits in the description box below if you're interested in these printables or stamps, and I will see you next time. Thank you.